Today in Cyberpunk 2077, I'll be showing you how to get the coolest looking gang bike completely for free. This means you can actually keep it and obviously if it does blow up, you can just call cool yourself a new one. Now it does not look like it should be fast, but it is really as fast as Jackie's bike, so surprisingly quick. It really is designed for poses though, with that demon mask with fangs and the eyes are actually the headlights and then it has that beautiful stitch seat across the back and the neon glowing wheel details, it just looks insane. Now the quest you need to do to get this is really very well hidden and it does not have any quest markers when you're doing the quest so you really just need to figure out everything for yourself which is one of the reasons I've made this video to help you guys because it is a little bit complicated and I'm going to be showing you everything you need to do for the quest in detail in the video. Alright so to start this secret quest to grab this free bike you need to come over here to Santo de Monaco area of Night City literally right on the edge over here there's a small town and it has a ripper dock and a gun shop that are right next to each other. This is where you want to come on the map. I am currently standing right outside this gun shop just here. You guys can see Night City in the sun rise or set, I don't know. And we're actually going to come outside and around. Because right here there is a hidden garage and then we're going to get a secret cutscene with Johnny Silverhand. Well, well, well. Nice. I had something similar, but none of that nomad shit. Mm-hmm. Let me guess. Big busty blonde on the side? First, beg your pardon. And second, brunette. Shit. No fixing this. What's wrecked is wrecked. So this is not the bike we're going to be getting, but you can actually get this other bike. Um, the bike we're getting, in my opinion, looks a lot cooler. So if you guys come over to this laptop right here and use it, check the messages. You're going to see this message saying everything okay. Hey Josie, heard those guys trust your bike. Damn, I'm sorry. Don't know what got into them. I'm just happy you're okay and listen. I know your wheels meant a lot to you, but you have to let this go. I'm serious. The tigers don't joke around. So there's kind of a clue here. And then we get a picture. And that picture is really important. Now if we pause at the picture we can see that these two people were a couple and we can also see where this specific photo was taken. Now we know for a fact it must be in Westbrook because he mentioned the tiger claws trashing her bike. So I spent a lot of time driving around Japantown specifically because the photo was taken well it looked like it was taken kind of like on the coast somewhere where the river was. So I spent a lot of time driving along this area and eventually I found the location so now I'm going to show you guys where it is. So we're going to exit out of here, there's actually a fast travel point not too far away just down the road here. So we might as well use the fast travel point to get there. It's literally just on the left over here. So use this fast travel point and we're going to travel all the way to Japantown, specifically over here on the map where this big red bridge is just here so you guys can see um the closest fast travel marker probably best to go to japan town west because it's on the coast here so it's just kind of easy to show you guys where it is so here's the fast travel terminal just here and then we're going to go ahead and run directly south all the way to that big red bridge that i pointed out to you guys I've been giving away a copy of Cyberpunk every day on the channel. All you need to do to enter is like the video, leave a comment below and you need to be a subscriber to win. Also recommend leaving your Steam name or Twitter, then I can get in contact with you easier. So as you guys can see we're at that big red bridge on the map just there. That's it in the distance and this is, this is nuts man. So you know that picture we looked at? This is the exact same picture, it's got the love heart on the on the bench and there's our friend there's our man guy in the picture that you what the? how the hell did you get that found it alongside Josie's banged up bike I'm trying to figure out what happened to her oh so you a cop cut the bullshit show me a badge nope 100% civ here just trying to put some facts together something happened to her something bad Right? Shit, she. The Tigers didn't like her, okay? Told her to skip town. 
But Josie... Fuck! Josie didn't listen! When they smashed her ride and said she'd pay them back, I begged her not to. But she clapped the bike off some boss. They chased her. There was a firefight. After that, no idea. So yeah, I'd say something bad happened. Listen, figure anything out, anything. Let me know, okay? You know where to even start? No. All I heard was when it got rough, she ran to the metro. Must have gone south, red line from Japantown. But no idea where she would have got off. Not much, but still something. Be in touch. So he gave us a little bit of so he gave us a little bit of information there that we can actually go off. So let's go ahead and look on the map again. We are going to go just south of the city center is the zone on the map called Hayward. And just here you'll find the Glen area. Now if you go ahead and zoom in, you're going to find the metro he mentioned. Metro Glen North. So if I go ahead and zoom in, you guys can see we're literally here. It's There's a lot of layers, but there is a street going like kind of in between these buildings just here. So if you go to this location on the map, just mark it, you'll actually be able to travel to the metro point. Just put your, your map marker just here. So as you guys can see, we are now at the metro night city. Oh, God, Jesus. What is wrong with these people? I'm not even on the road. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're outside the... Uh, the metro now you want to go left as you guys can see i'm standing here looking east on the map you're gonna go straight down this road we're gonna go straight down this road and you're gonna every few seconds just check on your scanner as you run down the road please don't be any cars how many times are we gonna get run over in this video people just don't care about pedestrians Eventually, you're going to get to this vending machine here, and right on the floor in front of this vending machine, super difficult spot. Human blood, several weeks old, severe injury. So if you look around, there's actually an alleyway here. And just here, the lady from the photo. Blunt force trauma, blood loss, no man from al clan. And she has bad news notes. Bled out. Took a while, though. Tore those fingernails right off on the pavement. Fuck. What a way to go. No way's a good way, B. I'd know. Johnny has some cool little dialogue there. And she's completely dead, sadly. So now, obviously, we have the news. We can go back to James and tell him what we found. So, fast travel back to James in Japantown and go ahead and speak to him once again. Found Josie, dead. And you did it. The fuck are you talking about? You know what. You lured her into a trap. Knew your tunes were gonna zero her. Didn't have a choice, alright? She crossed the guy at the top. I had to, understand? They would've zeroed me. So you had a choice. Or you can call him pathetic. You had a choice. Ah, so you had a choice. Just preferred to save your own ass. What would you have done, huh? Let him wipe you? Why do you think I'd come back here? Night after night? To admire the fucking view? I know what I did. Not living Who easy. fucking who? Girl bled out, Jamie. Slowly. In agony. Tore her own nails off. Clawing at the asphalt. Picture that. Picture that every time you catch that chicken shit face of yours in the mirror. So now we need to find the stolen Tiger Claw bike. Because what essentially happened is that Josie stole the bike and hid it. Now obviously the journal we picked up actually updates the quest log. And it says Josie hid the Tiger Boss bike somewhere in Night City near the Ool Foods factory on the Maelstrom turf. Said to look for a ghost horse. Alright then. And also guys, make sure you take note of this date from when they first met. I did not do this the first time, but this date is actually really important and it's really sad too. So now we're going to go ahead and travel over here on the map. As you can see, north side is the Maelstrom turf here in Watson. And 
on the north side of the map, we will find where we actually did the quest with Jackie, which is just here on the map. Let me zoom out and in for you guys so you can see. There's actually a weapon shop nearby, but you want to come to this fast travel point because this is where the all foods plant is. And you obviously know that if you've done the quest with Jackie. So this is the fast travel point. This is the all foods factory. And if you guys look from the fast travel point over there at the blue building, you can see the white horse, which is just nuts. I mean, God, you've got to give it to CDPR for the attention to detail on this like quest. I mean, there are no quest markers or anything. And this is the white horse again. Here we have the panel. So go ahead and type in the code that is the date that these two met and he was betrayed by her. Can you guys believe it? So it is 0 2 1 4 Oh my god! <laughs> so cool! <laughs> so there we have it. It looks absolutely insane. It's got like the mask on the front. And those eyes, by the way, they're the headlights. Oh, man. I love this bike. It's even got, like, the Tiger Claws gang symbol on the back, too. Now, it is possible to get the Tiger Claw gang bikes in-game. But now you guys actually own this vehicle. This is completely yours. Which means, obviously, if I get off and I go ahead and look at my vehicles here... You can see I can actually cool this vehicle now. So if it blows up, explodes, whatever, you can keep this vehicle for yourself. Like that's always going to be your bike. And I absolutely love the story behind it. It was, oh God, CDPR did an amazing job. I don't know who wrote this quest, but I love these hidden quests. Most people might even find the start of it, forget about it or never find the end because it is kind of difficult to complete. So I wanted to make a video on it for you guys, but now we're going to test out the top speed of this bike see what it can do so north 60 let's go okay pretty quick i think that was about 2.5 or 3 seconds 176 78 178 so this bike is as fast as jackie's bike in fact i mean it doesn't look like it should be but it is and i just love everything about it guys so i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like oh 179 there very nice Leave a like if you did enjoy the video, guys. I've got a whole playlist on where you can get all the free bikes in the game. And I'm actually going to be making another video as well um, tonight about how to get this legendary Nomad armor and how to get 6,400 armor rating on it too. So if you guys are interested, make sure you check that video out. I'll link it below or subscribe so you're ready to see it tonight. I've got loads of videos like that coming out for Cyberpunk, so yeah, definitely subscribe with the bell icon to the channel, guys. See you in the next one.